Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are all good. So today, we're going to be doing a fun activity for little ones. It can be your own little ones, your neighbors, your class. Um, if you're a teacher, you can do it for your own class. It can be for your cousins. It helps them with their fine motor skills. It helps them with counting. And you can create this with things that you have around your house. It can be inexpensive, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need. You're going to need a can, or as many as you'd like to make, and they have to have this plastic top. I'm going to be using two for this video, and it has a plastic top. They are empty, and you can wipe them down with something to clean the inside. You will also need some gift wrap paper, scissors or an X-Acto knife. You can also use glue, any type of glue that you'd like to use, or tape. And this I got from Dollar Tree and it was a dollar twenty-five and it's a party favor surprise coin. I also went ahead and I got some tape. Aren't these cool? <laughs> so with that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with my big can. And if you can wipe the inside of it, make sure that it's clean. For this one, I tried my best, but you can still see some crumbs in there. So since you can't take the label off of this can, you're going to be needing that gift wrap paper. Go ahead and get my gift wrap paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can use whatever you have laying around your house. As you can see, this is a scrap of some of the gift wrap that I had. I'm going to get my can. I'm going to place it down. where I can okay, I'm gonna do it this way okay I'm gonna do it this way so I'm gonna go ahead and cut around here so I'm gonna get my scissors and just go ahead and cut again it doesn't have to be perfect guys this is for learning this is for fun this is for your little ones they're gonna enjoy it regardless of it being perfect or not. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure it. See if that's okay. I think I'm going to cut like around here. And if I need to cut more, I'll go ahead and I'll do that after again. So all I want to do Like so. I'm going to get my can and measure it again. So, let's see. We can even do like this. So I would have to take away around this much. So what you can do is either fold it in but I don't want to do that. I'd rather just cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of measure. All I'm doing is that I'm putting pressure. I'm applying pressure with my nail to kind of guide me. I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors. And hopefully make the cut okay again guys it doesn't have to be perfect it can be a gift wrap from a present that your child had gotten or you have gotten okay I'm gonna go ahead and get my can again Some excess there so all I'm gonna do is trim it you can also use tape if you don't want to use the glue 
I like either or. I'm going to show you. You get a piece of tape. All you have to do is like in the first piece that you're putting, make sure you align it and put that tape there. Or you can also get your glue and put a little bit at the bottom. down and I'm just putting all this tape to kind of have it secured so it won't be moving that much you don't have to put this much tape this is just my personal preference because I like it to be a little bit snug now you go ahead and bring in the rest of it. Again, you can put glue, you can get the glue gun, use the glue gun, or you can use tape. And I like pulling this a little bit to be a little bit snug. And then doing like that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can put the tape either like I'm doing so or the long way. It just depends on whatever you guys want to put on it. Or how you want to apply the tape. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm doing it the long way now. Now we're going to get the lid and we have to get our coins because we have to measure because they have to go in through here. So I would say do a little bit of pressure here like that big. So as you can see I did pressure guys. All I'm doing, guys, is applying pressure down. It can help kind of guide you. Get your scissors or your X-Acto knife. And try to, like, get in there. Be very careful with your fingers, guys. Like, super, super careful. So what you can do is either try to, like, stick it in there, make the little kind of dot. And then gently cut it. Again, be very careful. I don't want you guys getting injured as well. Okay, let's see. I need to be a little bit more bigger. So all I'm doing now is that, okay, that fits. So all I'm doing now is just that I'm basically kind of making it big enough to see if it fits through there. I'm going to try and make this a little bit kind of bigger by taking off some of this. This will just ensure that the coin goes in well and I won't be having trouble with it. You see it's kind of like a little slit. So the child also won't be struggling to put the coin inside. That's all I'm doing, like a little slot. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Okay, if it's through there, I need to cut it a little bit more here. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna try it out, guys. You're gonna get your can. You're gonna get your coin. One. And then. Again, just to ensure that you have enough space for the coin, so. about having patience and having fun guys so let's try it again one two this works there you go so this is it for this one now I'm going to show you another one that I will do so this other can has this that you can take off kind of peel it off I'm just peeling this off. Now again, I can start off with the top. And I want to make it big enough so the coin can fit there again. So I'm going to do the same trick that I did with the other lid. I'm going to go ahead and start here. Kind of go back and forth. Just to kind of give me a little guide, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that well. Again, be very careful with the scissors. You do not want to get injured. You do not want to get cut. So the coin can fit through there. And you're going to go ahead and get your can again. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to be using that tape that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be wrapping the whole can with this tape. I'm just kind of measuring it guys going with it I'm gonna keep on doing the same thing over and over again until I finish doing the whole can pressure on it me while I'm applying it by kind of like making it tight from one end and then kind of setting it down okay. there you have it guys put the lid And again, if you want to cover this, you can do so by using tape or just leave it as is. I'm going to do the little. Okay, guys. So what do you guys think? I made one with the gift wrap. And I made another one with the tape. Okay, guys. That's it. It's that simple, that easy, and you can make it with the little ones next to you. They can be helping by wrapping it around, by placing the tape, the glue. This is so much fun, and I have so much fun doing it with my littles, and I hope you guys do the same thing. As I said, we use it for counting, 
we use it for um, their fine motor skills, um, for their little pinching, for their little kind of like putting it inside, pushing it, also opening it and dropping it back out and then starting all over again. You can also do the one, two, and so on. Like you can count. Again, you can use the gift wrap option or you can use the tape option. The one that's more durable, of course, is a tape option and I like it. I prefer it because it doesn't really rip that fast. The gift wrap, of course, any little thing can rip it quick, but I like both of them. They both do the same thing. It doesn't matter which one. You can use things you have lying around your house or you can go to Dollar Tree, again, not sponsored, and get the stuff there for $1.25. Very inexpensive. Aren't these fun, guys? Like, I really have so much fun doing these with my babies. I like that sound. <laughs> and they also serve as good maracas. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for giving me your time. I hope you guys have so much fun doing this with your littles as I enjoy doing it with my littles. Thank you so much again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me bring you guys more videos like this. So with that being said, have fun, be safe, be happy, enjoy those moments with your littles. And I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Until next time, bye guys.